Hey there, art fans. I got a little bit of an unboxing for you today, or unbagging as it may be, as I got uh, a few little art supplies from Jet Pens that I wanted to show off and show you how I use them. Let's see what's in the bag. Oh, there we go. We've got, um, this is just a new pen I wanted to try. I've never tried one of these. It's a Rotring Tiki Graphic .8. I like the larger pen, so we'll give that a try. We have got a pen and ink sketch blank sketchbook. Just I, I threw this in just because I'm a sucker for little sketchbooks. The main reason I had to get these, here we go. Computer sign pens. These are, um, only Jet Pen has this particular brand. They're Japanese, as you can see from the patch, uh, packaging. They're sign pens, which are just, uh, this is the Pentel sign pen that I use all the time. You may recognize these and their various colors as sort of your, you know, basic uh, little mar marker that you get at any little drugstore or Genovese or something like that. I just happen to like these for simple basic drawing and um, I like this particular version. Here is a... Uh, I like the ink in this particular version. There we go, that's one of them. And let me see, let me open up. What's the last thing? Ah, we got some Copic marker ink. So those are the four things I got. And let me show you how I use them. First of all, the ink in, let's see. Water base. Um, one of the reasons I, li I actually do a lot of these little drawings with them, my spontaneous uh, faces that I then make into my drifting and dreaming strip. But one of the reasons I like these is that water base. Because since I, here's the Copic marker ink, since, uh, since I use the Copic markers a lot, let me show you the problem with the Copic markers is that here is one of them. There's your basic Scott. Here's a black one. Now let's say I was making a little black drawing. Da, 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 da. Hello there, Mr. Happy Smiley Face. Okay, now let's say I wanted to color that drawing in with more Copic marker. The problem now is it might smear because the, um, they're both the alcohol base. See, it doesn't, not so bad with the red. Let's go with a lighter color. See, see, ooh, that's picking up. See, it's muddying my color. It's picking up that, uh, you can see the, the black pick right around that eye. See how it bleeds? Ooh, that nose really. That's what happens with, uh, because they're both alcohol based, so especially the lighter colors can pick up some of that black. But with a water based one, there's a much thinner line as you can see. And it's a single weight thin line. When I'm using it with this, it usually doesn't pick up the black. Oop, just did a lot right there. You can see it just did in that one area where there was a lot of overlap. Of black. That, mean, that means there was a lot of black on the surface of that ink. But it usually doesn't, even with this lighter color. So that's why I like, besides the fact that I like drawing with these, they work well with the Copic markers when I want to color over a black line. What I also do is these are the ones because this isn't a permanent ink. This is just kind of a water-based ink that I, I use for my small stuff and small sketches and, and things, but not if I'm doing anything permanent. But what I then do is I read, and you can see the difference between a new tip. Let's see if we can get that. The new tip is very pointed and hard, and the old tip is kind of wider. and makes a different line even, because it's just old and mushed down a little more. 
but I refill these with, I've showed you this before, how I refill uh, in another one of my videos, I have it on how to refill these pins. Just pull off the back, pull out the sponge, re-wet it. Same way that you refill these uh, Copic markers, but instead of pulling out the back and pulling out a sponge, you pull off this tip right here, and then just, uh, see this has got a little dropper in it too. Tip this into it and put the tip back on, and that's how you refill those. So I refill these the same way, and then, I, then it's a permanent line. I also like these because they're good for using against a straight edge. I like, uh, I like the line they give me. They give me a nice, solid, even thickness of line. And this is actually a, you can see the difference between a new one and an old one. The, the line and the new, that's the old ones. The line is going to be thicker because it's only a felt tip. Yeah, look at the difference between those thicknesses. It's only a felt tip, so the more you use it, the more you wear down the felt and the more it spreads, which is why I need a bunch of them, of new ones. So I, I just like that very nice one thickness line it gives me whenever I'm using a straight edge. Of course, since this is a felt tip pen, I have to keep wiping the edge on uh, cloth with soap and water, so I uh, have to do that. Ooh, I did put my cap back on that marker. So there you have... The yellow cap computer sign pens. That was the other thing we got. The Copic ink. Ah, oh, this Rotring. See, I I just keep I just keep buying new black markers to see how they work. That's got a nice dark black, and I wonder if I can refill this one. Let me see. Some of these take. Uh, I don't think this one takes any kind of. Um, some of these take cartridges, but I don't think this is that one, so I'll have to figure out how to get it apart later. But by... I don't know what that means. I was just writing letters. <laughs> Somehow B is a good letter to write to test a pen. But I'll give this, you know, I'll give this a run. I, I have to say it's rich and the ink comes off it very well just in trying it. Trying it out here, I must say I like it. That's a Rotring Tiki graphic. Uh, they have a lot of um, different... I think this is the biggest size they have it in, 0.8. They got a lot of different sizes in it. So there's a... One, two, three. And then the fourth one is this. Let's open this up. We'll, we'll give this a look. It's just your basic uh, knockoff. It's sort of... What are those? Um, the... Um, Moleskine, Moleskin, which is it, uh, sketchbooks. It's just, just like that, only a few dollars cheaper. I have some of those Moleskin ones, too. Well, that plastic's tough. But it just gives you this, uh, to hold it shut. Oh, that's a stiff binding. Sewn binding. Medium weight paper. Though I think it says heavy weight. I'd say that's medium weight. Not sure what I'll draw on this sketchbook. I've got other sketchbooks. I sometimes I have themes for my sketchbooks. Sometimes they're just drawing. This one, a lot of times with these little hardcover to these little ones, I'll come up with a theme. Like, hold on, let me show you my red one. One second. This one I did a few years ago. I got a red Moleskine sketchbook. I drew in it with red marker. There's the date. 131.12. So I did this all in 2012. I was going to make a book out of it. I mean, a, a sort of digital book, but I haven't quite uh, finished the story yet. Well, that's one theme thing I've done with this sketchbook. Basically the same thing as this. Just a different brand. Figured I'd give it a go. There you go. Little unboxing. A little bit of an art tip. Some Japanese pens, all from a place called JetPens.com. They have, um, they've got a lot of Japanese uh, office supply stuff, including a lot of interesting pens and things. They, uh, like the, 
They have, like I said, it's the only place I've discovered these. They also sell some Copic markers and little notepads and stuff like that. But if you're interested in odd little uh, office supplies, uh, check them out at jetpens.com. Um, I've been using them for a couple of years, like I said, especially for these. Uh, in fact, I thought I had a box of these, but I didn't, so I had to order another one. But there you go. A little bit of an unboxing, some art tips. We'll catch you later.